Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time coming across the channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated whenever I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. What do we have today? We want to look at the salary of housemates in Qatar. I think that's the question that has become very many times. So I need a, I need to give you a clue so that you can know what is the expected salary. When you're coming housemates in Qatar, what do we expect? Remember, when we are looking at housemates in Qatar, we definitely get to look at what you call domestic workers. They are under the category of what you call domestic workers. And something still I need to let you know that one of the things that you should know that when you come in on a domestic work visa, it's normally your employer or your agent that is responsible for you. No, and uh, something else you also need to know the probation period of what you call domestic worker of housemaid in Qatar is nine months. That is according to the law. And you'll be, you'll be in custody of your employer until he can take to release you off. Yes, we look at salary, we look at what kind of estimates do you pay to an agent, what agents, how much do they recruit for that. Definitely, this is what we, we want to know. Yes, we are looking at a situation now you are coming from your country. Most of the jobs, most of the housemaid jobs, for example, if you are coming like coming from Africa country, let's say for example you are coming from Uganda, it will definitely depend on the kind of agents uh, that are recruiting or manpower recruiting. But remember, the, the actual estimate should be between 2,000 Qatarial to 3,000 Qatarial. That should be the maximum in case that a manpower agent has to hike up the price or the commission that you have to pay for that manpower company and that's what it should be so you are expecting the commission will be to the pay to that company it should be more approximately between 2000 to uh, 3000 Qatarian. then the question is that how much am i going to be paid yes for this question of housemates for uh, payment we are looking at experience remember i keep on telling uh, uh, most people here who are watching videos on this channel you are doing a great job but something that you need to know most of these guys job normally they they tend to have that kind of crisis where they will ask for what you call an experience in the gulf that experience in the gulf shows that you've ever worked in the gulf for some period of time so meaning that you know the norms of those country you know how that country is and that's what they take the experience to be so when your housemate coming in Qatar for that matter and you are what you call an experienced housemate. I'm talking about an experienced housemate that has worked in any of these Gulf countries. You've worked in Bauman, you've worked in Bahrain, you've worked in Saudi Arabia, you've worked in Qatar, you've worked in any of the, the Gulf countries. You are the, your estimate, your expected salary will be between one it will be one thousand two hundred. It will be between 1,200 to 1,300. That is if you have that experience of the Gulf countries. Okay? Then, something still you need to understand. If you don't have an experience of the Gulf country, it will depend. If you are so lucky that when you're coming, you'll find a good employer, he will be giving you 1,300 even if you don't have experience. So long as other factors will be accrued or other factors will stand in for you then you find another employer that will say no i need that one with experience and if you don't have experience then probably i'm giving you one thousand so you you expect that you'll be having your salary as one thousand remember the reason most of the housemates are uh, employers most of our things they definitely you find a good one they will give you everything they will give you a gold they'll buy for you territories they will buy for you definitely you have those necessities with you but it will depend on how lucky you are at that particular time and which kind of pa a family is taking you. If you find a very good family, then definitely you know that you're going to find a family and you'll be getting 1,200 as salary payment in Qatar. Between 1,200 to 1,300. Remember, you're being given food and you're being given the rest of things. So meaning that when you go to that house, uh, that family you're going to work to, you, 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 you're not entitled to what we call a food allowance because they definitely have to give you food as according to the law. So you find yourself uh, lying in that category or in that way. 
estimate. So definitely, you know the estimate. If you are going to look at a manpower recruiting you, at that time, they will definitely charge you at that amount of money. And if you are going to receive your salary, uh, depending on the experience you have or you do not have an experience, then definitely you have that. Some people think that I've been in my country, I've been doing this, I have an experience. Yes, that is the experience you have in your country. But most of these Kangal countries, they definitely, they will require you to have what you call a Gulf experience. And you must have worked in any of the Gulf countries. That is what probably they think is better because they take it as that at least you know what Gulf countries know and you know what kind of food you may know what they want to eat you may, you may know some of even the conversation words and that is quite very important because you are going to deal with families that don't know how to speak English that speak in Arabic so definitely for that person who has ever been in these families in Arabic countries definitely some of these words may be a bit very easier for you to capture or may be even very easier for you to pick up in one way or the other that's why they normally ask for that kind of experience Thank you so much for coming back. And remember, it's next from the next question. See you again in the next video. By the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap the notification bell because you will always be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for that.